How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tower. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there, okay? So we're just going to hop right into this and see what's going on for you guys, okay? Keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does what doesn't leave it on out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is that... There could be someone, or this could be you. You could feel like someone, or someone feeling like you mean the world to them. They feel like you belong with them in the 5D spiritual realm. Um, someone is also kind of like afraid of the connection, but not in like a bad way, uh, to the point where they want to run or anything of that nature. Some of them, yes. Um, but somebody feels your energy. They feel you. They never felt this way before, so they're afraid of this connection here, Scorpio. Okay? But it's like angels is on a mission, okay? Your angels is on a mission in this situation. And they just want you guys to sit back and relax here. Because what's to come, you don't even know what's to come here. All right? It's that beautiful. It says this person, though, one thing they're not afraid of, though, when it comes to you, Scorpio, is to show you how much they really care for you. And as far as in sexually, Okay? Now, they might like to do certain things in public. This person could be a little bit kinky. Um, this could be the person that will do any, that will try to do something like in maybe a movie theater, something of that nature, or what have you. Um, you know, outside in the car, just some random, you know what I mean? They just like to keep a little, you know. So, um, this person is now, now knowing that this situation is true, that their feelings are true. Not only because they, they, you know, a Scorpio, y'all kind of sexual. Don't get mad at me, okay? But anyway, so kind of sexual. And it's like Scorpio know what they want, and it's and someone has to be that person to please them. But it's like whoever you're dealing with, you know, they feel like you're everything, all and above. Like not only do you have great sex and it's great, you know, but it's like you're beautiful, you're you're passionate. It's like they just they feel an overwhelming love and sensation for you. Okay, this person saying that they watch you, they watch you, they need to see what you're up to. Okay, they love the way that you freaking walk, too. Somebody loves the way that you walk. I don't know how you guys walk or what have you. I don't know if you got a switch in your little walk, but somebody loves the way that you freaking walk. And someone, but this person could be asking, Does he know? I don't know if you guys were dealing with someone, maybe someone that was older, that was selfish, and that could be an abuser or whatever. And um, when this person came in, it's also scared you as well. Like, you never really felt like this towards anyone either. Because some of you had to deal with an abuser, somebody that put their hands on you, I'm getting. Okay, someone that was selfish, that didn't want to give to you, that didn't want to, you know do anything in any type of way spiritually mentally mentally physically financially nothing okay it was just draining you here but guess what this person is getting their karma this person is not able to manifest whoever this person is but i'm gonna get back to the love but on the other hand i want to tell you guys something there could have been a cancer or pisces this could have been a best friend, but we had a best friend in reverse. This person is saying that they're sorry for something that they have done. I'm not sure we're going to get into it. Um, we also have here check their phone. So some of you need to check somebody's phone. Maybe a Cancer or Pisces phone because they're just this devil in disguise. They, it might be some information in their phone that you might find out. Okay, or give you some information of what's really going on with this cancer, this Pisces. Okay, so let's get some more information. What's going on with this cancer and this Pisces, this best friend? The, keep in mind, I can have this anywhere in a chart, okay? We have here new partner. Someone saying, could you unblock me? Best I ever had. So there could be a stalker. Best I ever had is something about you. Temper. I'll make you fall in love with me. Hmm. Let me get into my tarot. Dark with long hair. Somebody could have dark with long hair. 
Okay. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, yeah, this thing got me curious in a motherfucker. So I'm trying to see who this best friend is. Who's his best friend? What is his best friend motive? We have uh, we have the magician. We have here the hangman. We have the fool. Could be an Aries. Okay. King of Swords and Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So this best friend could have been manifesting something. Could have been trying to keep you stuck or keep you from a new beginning. Maybe with someone new or his best friend was jealous and not blocked. Somebody blocked somebody. Somebody blocked their friend. I don't know why. I don't know if it has to do with your lover or what have you. But Ace of Cups, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you, you I don't know. Maybe a friend was catching feelings. Y'all put this word fixed. But I'm definitely getting that some of y'all block somebody out due to love. For love. I'm getting you block somebody out for love. Yeah, you blocked out somebody from your past for love. Yeah, you rejecting someone's offer. You you letting them out. You, you ghosting their asses or you just leaving them out, period. Like, somebody made a decision to leave a best friend out to go to towards the love. There we go, uh, the star card again. So some of y'all could be an Aquarius. Yeah, that was sneaky as fuck. Sneaking and lying behind your back and all of that shit. Jealous as fuck of you. Okay? Yeah, somebody was lying with the five of swords. Somebody was lying. In, but now they want to say they're sorry. They want to apologize. Okay? Now they want to move. There go that cancer. Mm. Now they want to move forward in this situation. Then we have the queen of swords. But I wouldn't trust their ass because with the five of stabs, they still got a lot of conflict and they still bitter and jealous as fuck. They're still in competition with you. Look, this person want to reunite with you. This best friend want to reunite with you. Baby, where they do that at? But this person getting judged. They're getting their karma like a motherfucker. They're getting their karma, okay, for whatever they try to do. But I'm seeing that some of y'all blocking somebody, your best friend out, maybe for love, okay? Maybe because you really never had this type of love. Maybe this is the best love you ever had in your life. It's just something about you or something about your person or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I know this friend was a devil in disguise, so you had to block their motherfucking ass. Any more information for this friend? Then we have her Ace of Coins. Um, the Knight of Staffs. So, yeah, you're taking a new beginning somewhere else. Maybe moving in with your person or going to it, whatever. Okay, here got our Pisces energy again. So, some of y'all definitely blocking out our Pisces. For some of y'all, y'all are holding back from our Pisces. Yeah. Some of y'all holding back from a Pisces and a Cancer. Okay, so what is this strength card here? Y'all gathering all your strength to do this shit. Some of y'all could be reuniting maybe with a Leo. Okay. Maybe some of y'all could be reuniting with a Leo here. My nose is starting to itch. Every time it itch, oh my gosh, I know something is up. So we have a two of staffs. So somebody choosing that path. They're walking away from somebody and going towards someone that they love. Yeah, because somebody was obsessed. Somebody was obsessed. What the fuck is this energy? Maybe a Gemini, a Capricorn. Somebody's obsessed with somebody walking away. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want you to reject them. Somebody feel bad. Okay, somebody feel really, really bad. But you, but you overcame the situation. You're overcoming the situation, period, okay? These people are going to be worried. So what's going on with you and your new love? Your passion with you and your new love? Okay? Nine of Cups. Wow. What I tell you, this person fulfills you. You fulfill them. That's why you have to block out your best friend or whoever this friend is from your past. Okay? The Ten of Coins. Wow. You see stability with this person. You see a home life with this person. You, you, I, hey, that's what you got to do. You got to block out the people that means you no fucking good. Okay? And go towards your happiness, romantic feelings, and passion. Wow. I can't make this up. So you're definitely very passionate about someone. We have here trust. Trust. Then we have here, you deserve the love. Exactly, you know it. You know the situation is calling you. So you ready to be loved. 
Somebody's your soulmate, honey. Yeah, see, you could have been letting your friends help you, getting advice from your friends, but you found out that one of these friends was a hater, okay? So you're going to give your relationship a chance. Yes, romantic feelings again. Yes, past life relationship. Wow, okay? Let go of control issues. So you're going to let go of control issues. You're going to allow... You're going to stop allowing people to play with you and your partner or what have you or have any type of opinions, all right? If you can't trust them, then we have playfulness, okay? So, you re you're recapturing your love for your person, okay? Even though you were once afraid, maybe because there was people influencing you or what have you, all right? Now, you're learning to forgive and learn from situations, okay? Calling in your soulmate, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You're calling this person in. This is a beautiful reading. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you have passion for this person. Your passion is just, ooh, decide what y'all want to do very soon, okay? Because it's coming. Yeah, some of you could have been wearing a false mask, not really revealing how you felt about your individual and your person, too. We have your king of coins. Wow, somebody wants to take care of you. Somebody's going to be loyal to you. Somebody wants to take care of you. They want to show you off. I, they just, they just want to, they just want to take care of you. Well, how can, else can I say this? Like, they want to be there for you. Like, somebody is cutting out their friends for you. They're cutting out their friends for you. Like, that's how deep their love goes for you. Okay? Let's see. Who was this fake friend that Scorpio had to cut off? An air sign. And from what I tell you, I've seen an Aquarius. So, this could have been an air sign. And Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who this fake ass friend? Could have also been another Scorpio. Shoot, for some of y'all. Could have also been another Scorpio. Who else? Okay, a water sign. They got that Cancer Pisces again. So, some of y'all definitely had to cut out a water sign. Okay, so, let's see. Who's your new love? Is there anybody else? The Aries for some of y'all as well. Could have been a friend. All right, who is this new love? Who is this new love? For some of y'all, it is the Aries. Who is this new love? I'm going to put that back because I was like, okay, for some, I'm going to just tell like it, it was a, it was Aquarius, all right, for some of y'all, okay, and I know some of y'all like, uh-uh, but it could be a new Aquarius, but I'm also getting an Aries, Virgo, Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, look at that motherfucker want to come right back out, <laughs> Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's this new love, y'all put a word fit, it's a Taurus, ooh, that's, that's crazy, who else? This could be anywhere in that sign, in that chart, I mean. So, just know that, okay? It could be a Libra or a Gemini. Who else is a new love for my Scorpio? They go Gemini. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? One more. Wow. Sagittarius can uh, Cancer. So, yeah. Put it where it fits. All right, you guys. Uh, let me get you guys a spiritual message and I'll let you guys go. So we have here choose your battles exactly. So you know you know how to choose your battles, okay? And you know that you're not going to put up with anybody or anyone, okay? Period point blank. Share the love. You want to share the love with your individual, and you are trusting the process, okay? We got that twice. Then we have here shine. So it's your time to shine here, Scorpio, okay? Solar plexus chakra. So you're letting the spirit know and everybody know you're working on your chakras. And you're also letting the universe know what it is, exactly what you want, okay? Then we have your change of focus. Yeah, you had to change your focus and pay attention to your own thoughts and what have you. Then we have here dedicated effort, okay? Then we have here just breathe. Get tap in back into your spirituality then we have your confront so you have to confront your shadow side you had to tap it into your spiritual side so that you can be able to make a clear cut decision on what it is that you want to do and not allow other people to uh, interfere in your life your relationships what have you okay but that's all i have for you guys thank you guys so much i love you guys bye